Today, we face a challenge where many of the well-known antibiotics do not work even in treating simple bacterial infections when that infection is caused by a superbug. The goal in my lab is to tweak the organism so that it becomes again sensitive to the existing uh, antibiotics. We hope that uh, the research in the lab will pretty much translate in finding new ways to combat antibiotic resistance in treating bacterial infections. The lessons and the impact that the pandemic has had, first of all, it has emphasized the significance of us scientists to um, educate the public, translate better as to what we do in our labs and how that can impact the public health. What we do discovering drugs is important, but also what is important is very simple measures such as hygiene and hand hygiene can be quite significant. The most common misconceptions about vaccines are they were developed very fast. The clinical trials were rushed. They are um, not safe. They may contribute to the uh, spread of the disease, which obviously all of them are wrong. They were developed fast, but not to the point of undermining many critical aspects of a vaccine development. The technology was there. The science was there. Vaccines do not contribute to the spread of the disease. Quite the contrary. They do actually activate the immune system so that when the host or the, the person is exposed to uh, the virus, it protects the host, the person from the development of the disease. At this point of time in pandemics, we have real world data that do show that vaccines do protect lives. Vaccines do work. They save lives and they are the ticket to getting back the way that we knew the life before COVID.